thing is from our standpoint, we still look at the fact is, if you're going to drain your water, then you have to deal with other items that are in your home, such as your uh, domestic hot water, as well as humidification items, and your water softener. So let's start with the hot water. Um, there's a couple of different kinds of hot water tanks. We have, or sorry, we have hot water tanks, which are either atmospheric or they're power vent. On, on a power vent model, that's got the plastic piping going outside. What you'll want to do with that one is you're going to unplug it. You can turn the gas off. And if you choose to drain it, you can drain it. The fact is you want to unplug it to make sure that it's not going to come on. One other thing that you can do though with that, if, if you're not going away for an extended period of time, you can actually, some of them have vacation mode, which will save you some money. If we go to the atmospheric, that's an older style one, which has got a tin top, tin venting on it. Uh, basically on those ones there, they don't have any power to them. So you want to make sure you turn the gas off to it. And you can, as, as well as turn the water off to the particular unit. For the on-demand units, basically you want to unplug the unit and if you choose to drain it, there should be service valves on it. Now, when you, when you drain them, this is the important thing with all the tanks, because if you drain the hot water out of it, you got to make sure when you turn your water back on, you want to make sure that you, you <laughs> shut those service valves back closed because otherwise you'll have water all over the floor. You will also have, when you're turning back your system back, when you come back from vacation, make sure that if you have a storage tank that, and you've drained it, you fill it before you turn it back on. Check out the details below to find out more about what we do and how we can help at AG Secure Home Watch.